Da 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 da. Welcome back, fellow tamers. This is your King Lux speaking, and we are still on our tiny 3x5 Dermojimon. And I doubt they're going to make a big deal of this because sooner or later in the future he's going to change into a five or yeah a five by five because of an enormous big surprise hidden in this shop. If I can pull it up. All right, there we go. Now I think it's either here or maybe it's in here. It might be in here. Uh, Evolution, no, no, how about etc. Nope, the event isn't here anymore, so I guess we'll have to wait until it comes back. But there is a thing called the growth fruit, and then it's permanent. Back in 2013, there was a growth fruit, but it was a, uh, a sort of not so permanent growth fruit well you get the idea of where I'm going with this um now let's explain ride modes real quick um they have changed quite a lot since uh, later segments um, or earlier segments that ride modes are now unleashed by forms now the reason why they're going by forms is because of two things. Number one, the bigger they are, the faster they become. Now, I don't mean by at their main size, like from 3x5 to 5x5, five five, no. I mean like from uh, rookie to mega, or rookie, champion, uh, ultimate, mega, jogress, or so on and so forth because in those lines they become faster and the higher they are they become unreachable and such as capsule Digimons like uh, Raidramon uh, they're untouchable just as much as Jogurses and Megas due to the fact of one thing they are too high to be touched and if they're too high they are no longer uh, detectable by other Digimon in the wild, such as leaders. Now this became a problem back then because whenever you were flying or on a flying mount, that wasn't a problem. But now flying mounts are now detectable, but on a certain level. You would have to be over mega or mega or over I should say to be undetectable. But in any case, ride mode stops your fatiguing, so stay on the mount as much as possible whenever you're in an open area that is uh, compromised by Digimon. So yeah, that's a plus. Now, we're on our way to working up our DATS badges. Dorphin's Call. Now we got to talk to the old man down the street like I was thinking about in the last segment. But this lag really gets to me. Okay. He's got a gift for us. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Take these gloves or keep the ones I have on now. Oh, what the heck. The attributes I can scan at the moment. And I'll show you what they are for. Because I don't think I showed you properly in the last segments. Now, I'm not in the mood to change my equipment as of yet because I'm comfortable with this shirt. And I'm comfortable with these gloves. Now, 
complete this. Okay. Now, we're going to take the shirt, this attribute, merge them. We're going to take these gloves, this attribute, merge them. Now, watch these, whoops, watch these stats. Bada boom, bada boom. You see the change? Attributes adding to clothing is very important to your fighting style. I mean, you can change equipment every so often, but that's due to your uh, battle chips that you put down here. And there is such a thing as a blue DS to have, whoops, to have like three slots. And you can change them out every so often, depend, yeah, depending on which slots you are suitable with. Or which chips you're suitable with, not slots, sorry. Um, yeah. So the higher your chips, the better the ability, and so on and so forth. However, there are still uh, rings necklaces and earrings to get in a further future. Now, what did I do? Oh, here it is. Okay. I thought that was up here, where the hat is. But hopefully that hat is more useful in the future, because I want to use a crown to fit the title of my kingness. <laughs> Alright. Enough of that. Um, so yeah. Uh... see what Homer has for us. Wait, do we hand in our quest with him? Oh, he doesn't have anything over his head anymore. Alright, so that must mean we're done. Uh, Homer was supposed to have had something with us. Uh, let's check the map. And we currently don't have anything at the moment. Huh. I wonder if it's because Agumon is not up to par yet. Excuse me. He's supposed to be at level 11 soon. So he can digivolve. But, uh, yeah. You can't switch out as long as I'm on a mount, so... Get off, and then change. There we go. And still nothing. Alright. So let's fight some leaders. First, I'm going to find a vending machine, which is over here. Ah, that's what happened. Okay. Now, you get your choice of bombs here. They're 1Ms, and they max out to 500 a stack. Um. But for the time being, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. So we'll just leave it as is. For food, I would choose high vitamin A's and uh, multi grain bread for the beginning part of this because they're going to be your main resources until you find a way to you know, farm for KFC and such. And uh, these discs are not so great because they do not include the uh, contents of the tamer, like your HP and your DS. Only the Digimons, however. So I leave that alone. And the memory skills use these memory chips. The macro protection is for reporting bots on DML, but in such cases, you know, they can be handy, but I don't use macro protection too often. <clears throat> Oh yeah, now I remember what I came here for. I wanted to sell these off. What? Okay, good. Alright. Hmm. I really want to hatch this royal knight, but I don't have enough beast data. So do I do. Well, we have beasts over here to farm from. 
And we also have a new quest, so... It's quite possible we can get our last badge around this time. So we need to find... Or defeat two Elecmon leaders, defeat two normal Elecmon, and defeat two black Garurumons. Let's see. Yes, everything is in a row here. keep these cards in handy. I usually store them in my warehouse. Well, if I have to. Two of those normal ones are down. Now you've seen a blue glowing ring underneath Agamon. I'll show you what that's about. These are his skills. And at some point, whenever you have enough skills built up, you spend them by doing this. And if they're maxed out, the strongest move you want to spam, well, is pretty much up there to use and abuse if possible. Like that. Okay, now we're working on the Black Gabumon. Or Garurumon, sorry. Now we have Geo Greymon. And he'll come and roll. Wait, what? Alright, we got what we needed. Alright. Just in case, I need one more. Nope, that wasn't it. I don't want any seals, thank you. But I think we are done with this quest, which means we have two more badges to collect. Not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, I'm going to scan these datas. And we're going to pop over to somewhere more quiet. Be right back. And just like that, quiet is key. Now, what I want to do here is uh, try and hatch my Alphamon, a.k.a. Dorumon. If I can find a incubator around here, NPC. See, there's a vending machine. There's a ton of cats. 
There's a scanner and a archive. And a lot of stores. Hmm. And we can't go to oil refinery. Well, I guess we're going to have to skip from here to uh, that center. Because from that place to that's, or between that place and that's, it's the only two places in the Yokoma area that you can actually, you know, de stress. And by all means, uh. Oh, fatigue wise. De fatigue. There we go. That was the word I was looking for. De fatiguing. Now, in some cases, Channel 1 would be the most place, or the most popular place to put up shops and find shops to buy from. But in my case, I don't see any shops around here right now. And I kind of need some coffee. Wait, what? Oh, I need 10 data. Cancel that. Alright, so I don't have enough data right now. So he wants or needs 10 beast data that I don't have at the moment. And these cards here will be coming in handy because they come from 1 through 7. Uh, you know, they're going to fill up this whole entire row. And what I'm going to need, or, yeah, blah, 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 if I can actually talk, what am I going to need help with is um, unlocking my whole entire storage so I can have space for my guild items that people may want or need to use and store for guild purposes. But we're not at this point right now. We are still in the Yokoma area, so let's get back to work. I'm a scout man. Give it up, it ain't bad at y'all. Boom, bad at y'all. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, how are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm kind of bored myself. <laughs> Late night. Two in the morning. Working in two in the morning. Yep, that's me. Per usual. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're back here. We're still working on some uh, mysterious quests here in this area. If I can stop the lag. Oh, good, we're on our favorite channel. Oh, great. Zero is fine. <coughs> um, so yeah. We're going to see about talking to Homer. Oh, I guess Jermojimon don't like working on keys all that much. He's fidgeting.
Yep, Homer's got a mission for us. Let's see what he's got. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight three dummy Miramon and one Miramon. Which isn't too bad because we have the uh, one Digimon in our arsenal to actually take them on. And his name is Neo Greymon. Oops. What happened? Oh, right. My F keys don't work. I gotta thank my youngest brother for that mess. Tell me that's not a seal. That's a seal. Alright, now we gotta come down here and fight Miramon. Yeah. All right. Okay, so he doesn't turn into Rise Greymon until 25. He's only 12 right now. Hmm. Alrighty then. So now we gotta return to Homer. And get our fourth that's badge. How do we get our fifth? Is kind of well. We'll see. All right. That. Now I'm gonna come over here and talk to this rock star. Yochi. Yuchi. Yauchi. I don't know how to pronounce that name actually. Alright, so now we gotta talk to him again. Okay, so now we need to defeat three Kuramon and one Priscillamon. Is it just me or do I hear an echo? Okay, I need to find one more. Okay, that's it. And one of these guys. Okay, now we gotta go talk to Richard Sampson. So, into that, he gave us some Dats bombs to use. And by doing so, we are home free.
But before we talk to Richard Sampson, I think this episode ran a lot longer than I expected. So we're going to cut it from right here, and we will be right back. Stay tuned, my fellow knights.